Okay, so you got to monitor cash burn closely. All right, what movie is that from? Anybody guess? Anybody guess? Come on. Probably the, one of the best villains in history. Of course, that's Batman in uh, the Batman movie, and you've got cash burning in the background there. Um, okay, let's move on to um, liquidity ratios, okay? Uh, liquidity ratios uh, measure our ability to pay short-term debt, meaning can we get a loan? Are we liquid enough? Right? If you can turn something into cash, that's called liquidity for some reason. I don't know why, but you can see I've got a beautiful picture there of water, of, of money coming out of a tap. That's liquidity. It is what it is. Okay. So here are some liquidity ratios, and they're important, right? But don't worry because QuickBooks or your software does this for you. Okay. But I want you to understand at high level. Okay. Um, the current ratio basically means current assets. Uh, divided by current liabilities. Remember, your current assets and current liabilities are stuff that's uh, that's uh, under a year, okay? Like a loan that's uh, payable in less than a year, or a credit card that's due in less than a year. Um, so, if your current ratio, meaning current assets divided by current liabilities, is greater than one, then banks think, "Hey, okay, this company can pay their short-term bills. Things are okay with them." Okay. Uh oh, breaking news, right from the desk of Ron Burgundy. The issue is there's a massive recall was just announced uh, on our banana watch as it looks like our banana watch doesn't work when it's over 70 degrees Fahrenheit outside or under 60 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, we, we forgot about that, I guess. Uh, and this is a huge problem for us. And it's a problem also because the current ratio um, uh, uses current assets uh, in its calculation, right? And so our inventory went up a lot and our inventory is part of current assets. We should not get the benefit of saying current assets divided by current liabilities is way over one. If we have a massive amount of inventory that's worth nothing that we have to write down because they're, they're defective Apple watch, or sorry, banana watches, right? Um, so what's the solution? Well, we've got a new ratio called the quick ratio, which is exactly like the current ratio, except it ignores inventory, okay? And it's basically this, current assets minus inventory divided by current liabilities. That's another liquidity ratio, right? So if it's not over one, you're in big trouble. Another great quote from the Sage of Omaha, Warren Buffett, when you combine ignorance and leverage, you get some pretty interesting results, right? So leverage is basically um, uh, financial weapons of mass destruction, according to, to Warren Buffett. And we're gonna talk about what happened in 2008 in a future lecture. We were within 24 hours of bank machines literally not working. Uh, but we'll, we'll analyze that later when we talk about debt. Okay, so let's talk about some more leverage ratios. Debt to assets is debt divided by assets, right? And um, you don't have more debt than assets um, or you can't get a bank loan, okay? Now there's something called interest coverage ratio, which is EBITDA divided by interest. Now EBITDA stands for earnings before I tricked dumb accountants. And totally kidding. So EBITDA is like EBIT. Remember EBIT is earnings before interest and taxes? But you can also put in there earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Amortization is basically uh, another way to uh, mark up or mark down stuff. I'm not going there. So if we take our operating profit, which is kind of like EBITDA, right, divided by interest, what's our interest coverage ratio? How many times over can we pay interest rates on our debt? You want it to be a very big number, right? Okay. Other ratios are return on assets. Whenever you hear the term return on something, it basically means net income on the top or profit simping divided by whatever you're returning on. So net income over assets, um, net income over equity, ROE, right? And uh, so quick class recap, uh, don't ever memorize accounting or you'll get a D in accounting. <laughs> uh, understand it, okay? Uh, all three financial statements are related to, kind of understand that. Most importantly, cash is king, especially early on for a company where you look at burn rates. Um, and ratios kind of help uh, investors and, and entrepreneurs uh, understand trends. Um, just We kind of went over the, the, the basics of the, the three financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, uh, and the cash flow statement. Uh, I want you to understand at a higher level, but I want you to use software to create those for you, okay? Because that's, that's what we do in this, this new digital age. Thank you.